Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I've got quite a set of melons on me. <laughs> hey, wait. You, in the third row, Mike. I see you checking out my melons. Well, heads up, buddy. My eyes are up here. I know they're fake, but I figured if I bought them, they'd improve my self-esteem. But these men, they make me feel like a piece of fruit. I tell you what, ladies, if you want to treat me like a piece of meat, I'd be the prime rib. Uh, let me just set my melons down. Another thing I get criticized for is my choice of literature. But I promise you, I just read it for the articles. Especially this article. of yours. Except for the ladies, you can keep yours. I won't judge. I tell you what, do you like the eyebrows? They're certainly a closer with the ladies. It gets them closer to security. That's him right there, the freak with the weird eyebrows officer. Do I have something on my face? I just, I just feel a little, ugh, weak. <laughs> uh, tell me, you guys can help me out here. Have you seen any lady Pokemon running around? I'm trying to force one into my ball. I want my next relationship to be like that of a Pokemon to a Pokemon trainer. Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> We have a lot in common, me with Pokemon trainers. We're always in the bushes, just creeping around. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you get the chance, make sure to stop by the vendor hall. They've got some really... Hold on. They've got some really moist buds there. <laughs> now, maybe it's just me, but I don't like nibbling on dry buds. Nom, 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 nom. A lot of these guys think they're clever when they comment on my big ball. Well, truth be told, I used to have two of them, but I lost one in a horrible trampoline accident. <laughs> boing, eek, boing, eek. Oh! Thank you guys, you've been fantastic. Woo!